How's everyone doing? Welcome back to another video. Today we have gone around the entire world to mm. get these specific chips. Not meaning, really. Meaning I went to the specific Pacific Mart. Pacific we, Ocean Marketplace. Yeah. The Pacific Ocean Marketplace and got all of these chips. And we're going to go ahead and just try them. They're technically from around the world, but we didn't travel the world to get any of these. I'm pretty sure they're all from Asia. Yeah, they might be. They definitely might be. But pretty much what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be trying each of these and then I, my lovely guest, hey. will also be trying them behind the camera. So without further ado, I say let's just get into this. All right. And the first one we have is the Blaze Max barbecue pork. Not going to lie. I'm very excited about this. So it's probably just Korean barbecue. That smells like Korean barbecue. I am not excited for this one. I don't like barbecue chips or pork. Yeah. Or barbecue good. pork. All right. Mmm. That's good. That just tastes like meat. Yeah, it just tastes like a barbecue chip. <coughs> That's got some heat on it though. Tastes like onion and garlic. And mm -hmm. a little bit of like everything else. Mm hmm. Like a five out of 10. I'm going an eight. I really like these. The next one is going to be the Ming Kam Krab Ross. Ming Kam Krab Ross. If I offended anyone from saying that, I am so sorry. But this is going to be the second one. I think, I feel like based off the actual like art, it's got to be Thai. Oh, let's see. It also looks like Thai writing. Oh no. It's got a very veggie smell to it. It's like a it's like if you were to do like veggie straws. I love veggie straws. These are fire. These have like a nice little, it's like a veggie chip. There's nothing really much more to it. It's just like a nice little veggie chip. I really enjoy those. She did not like those at all. Oh, she's currently spitting them out. It was good until the lime flavor came in, which is weird because lime is usually bomb on everything. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say these are worse than those, but they're still good. I'm going to put them at a seven. I'm going to say a three. 7 out of 10 for those. Not bad. But let's see if the next ones are better. No. Are these the fish ones? So these are going to be our roasted fish flavor. Can we do them last so that they nope. don't fuck up the taste of everything nope. else? Look how pressurized that is. No, I'm going to try. No, my God. Please don't do that. You can't really grab it. It's like trying to grab a balloon. I don't know if I want to smell this. Is anyone, if anyone doesn't know, I fucking hate fish. So this is just a recipe of disaster. I think I'm going to smell it. I'm definitely not going to eat that because I will throw up. The whole chip? No. doesn't taste like fish. That's not bad. The smell's fucked. Because it smells like fucking fish. And oh, fuck, no. But the taste doesn't, at least it does, not to my knowledge, it doesn't really taste like fish. It's kind of just like a chili? Seasoned? Seasoned chili, maybe? Uh, that's not good. <laughs> but that's not bad. I'm gonna go with a five. This smells, oh, this smells awful, but the taste really is not that bad. It smells really bready. It's like breaded fish, like tempura. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a no. Not even gonna try it? No. All right, she's not even gonna try it. But it really, I don't think, at least smell wise, can't get much worse. Ooh, okay. So these are the extra barbecue, which I'm curious because those are just kebabs. Hey, kebabs are barbecue. I know. 
But, like, there's... It doesn't look like it's, like, shrimp or fish or any meat. It's just extra barbecue. Oh. Oh, what is that? Um... I know, I know this, I know this smell so well. You know the noodles that I really like? The teriyaki? Oh, the stir fry noodles? It smells like stir fry. Like real stir fry or like American versions of stir fry? Oh, that's good. That's fucking delicious. I would fuck these up any day of the week. I feel like I'm gonna have to give these an eight. Well, they're not terrible. I'd probably say like a six. Not bad. These are the cucumber flavor. I'm not big on cucumber. I love cucumber. But I'm curious on how it's gonna taste in a chip. My way of thinking is you gotta think of it like the dill pickle chips. Oh. That's a cucumber. That's a fucking cucumber for sure. Holy shit. Okay. Oh. Oh. I, I don't know how I feel about these. I really don't know how I feel about these. It's got the, like, a, the seasoning on it. Really good. Like, it gives you, like, kind of a cucumber taste, but then the more you get into it, it just feels like you're just eating a cucumber. It's like once the crunch actually goes away. <laughs> that was just not what I was expecting at mm -hmm. all. Yeah. The first taste doesn't taste like a cucumber at all. Why is it so sweet? Mm-hmm. But then wait for it, and it fades into just, you're just, it just tastes like a cucumber. Yeah, but it's like really sweet. Mm -hmm. I like those. I like them more than all the other ones, but I don't like it. Six and a half. I would do the same thing. I'd put a six and a half. It, I think I think it, at the moment, it's like four out of five for favorite wise. Mm. So not terrible, not great. Second to last one. Ooh. These are the ones I'm most excited for. I'm worried about these. You probably should be. They're called Numb and Spicy Hot Pot Flavor. I'm worried that these are gonna burn my fucking mouth off. Literally, the picture is just chilies. It's hot pot broth. Mm-hmm. But that's all just chilies. Hi, welcome to Chilies. Yeah, spicy hot pot broth. Mm-hmm. Numb and spicy. So, I'm really worried on how hot these are actually gonna be for me. All right, well, I guess we're going the chip off of the table. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's heat in that. There's heat in that for sure. That one? I need to. <laughs> As you know that, they get put on the floor. I'm just gonna eat them all really quick. Oh, fuck. Holy, holy shit. No, that's got some real heat to it. That's not like like your standard like Cheetos heat. That's like hurts. Like it's gonna be one of those. That's fucking delicious though. This sucks. This is not good for me. Cause it's not hot down here. It's just hot back here. It's one of those spices where it's gonna just continue to settle in until mm -hmm. it goes away. Mm -hmm. It smells like a candle to me. Yeah. That's good. It's very basil-y. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, those are really good. I like those. That's going to be my favorite. I'm going to say 8 out of 10 for that one. Just tastes like a bunch of Thai chili. I think I'm going to put it above the cucumber. Mm, 6.5. 6.75. We're getting the real logistics. The last one, which honestly... Is the one I'm most excited for because I can't fucking read a single thing on it. But. It says yummy on the back. Yummy, crispy, tasty. Well, okay, so it's Lay's two in one. 
But now that I look at it, because I didn't look at the pictures. I just was like, it's a double color bag. Of course I want that. But, um, it looks like, is that correct? Crawfish or is that, that's not lobsters, right? Uh, no, it looks like crayfish are like, um, prawns. Mm-hmm. And then the other side looks like guac to me. Is that correct? No, that looks like <clears throat> a salsa of some kind. So we're gonna do crawfish and salsa. I don't know, it has the coolest looking bag, so by there alone gets. What does that mean? Oh no. Oh no. The chips are different colored. Yeah, I don't know if they can see that. Can you see that? No, they all look orange in the bag. Here. They're green and orange. There's a visible difference between these two. Yeah. In my eyes. This is green and this yep. is orange. Yep. Do I eat them separate? I feel like I should eat separate one and, and then, then together. I didn't, I almost threw up. That's just fish food. That just tastes like fish. I do not like that. All this other side better be good. I don't like this. Now you gotta try them together. Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. Oh, I don't want to do this. Together, together, together. I don't want to do this. Too bad. Maybe it's got matcha in it. It says it's tasty. That's a fucking lie. Oh god. I got so much work. Go spit it out. I got to finish it. Oh, oh my. <laughs> the quiver in your voice. Oh, uh, guys, no. This was the most I was excited about. Fuck no. Try it. I'm not trying it, but I'm gonna smell Try it. it. Try it. I want you to sit over here and I want you to try it. Too bad. It's shrimp grill and... And what? What did I just eat? Shrimp grill and seafood sauce flavor. That would make so much sense. Oh, okay. So that's us trying each of them. Now I'm gonna get them all and I'm gonna rank them from best over here to worst. So we've now got them all here from best to worst. We've got our amazing barbecue pork, which is fucking just peak. Then we got the other barbecue, so obviously the two barbecues one. I don't think anyone really saw that. It's no, right. especially because your favorite regular chips Our are barbecue. barbecue. So yeah. Um, then we got the Thai veggie one. Fucking really good. Then we start getting towards the shittier stuff. The cucumber, honestly, it's exactly where it should be. It's not good. It's not bad. It's right in the fucking middle. So I'm fine with that. This, if it, I don't know what it's missing. It just isn't good. It also just needs like salt. Mm hmm. It just had a little stuff that it needed to mess with, and then these two can fuck off. If you eat these two on a normal basis, you need to figure your life out. But if you guys did enjoy this, and if you guys want me to try more weird exotic food, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, comment, and we'll see you guys next one. Peace, bye, and boom.